Uh, all right, my third pick is one that Maddie's very excited about. Uh, this is a audio clip. Uh, a lot of people were tweeting at me about it the last few weeks, but I wanted to sort of wait and wait till the official video came out for it. But this is, uh, there is an underground culture of rap battling that is going out in 2012. And it's been going on for the last few years. On our Hype Man show, we had on uh, Iron Solomon, who's one of the best uh, at it. But basically, there's this thing where people on YouTube, it's a YouTube culture-based thing, but there are different battles that go on, hip-hop battles, where it's like 8 Mile, two rappers up mm-hmm. against each other. And people are, like, it's evolved to just where some of the best, they're just amazing at it. Like, it's, we're now at a point where it's just one of the best. And it's good because you can video it nowadays, too. So, like, you can put together a clip, and, and you're basically creating an 8 Mile every time. Now, before you press play, let me explain some things about it. They no longer rap over beats. Not important anymore. So it's almost sort of like... So uh, there's no beat, no, no music. It's all acapella, acapella. Completely yeah. acapella. And Shouting. nowadays, it's almost done in a Don Rickles style. Like, it's almost... It's all about punchlines. It's about punchlines. And, you, and, it, and not only that, it's about just being... You, you handshake at the end, but it's, you are brutal. You're looking to rip the person. Yeah. And a lot it's of a roast. It is like, it's and, a roast. And it's like going through the dude's garbage and getting like secrets about him that no one knows. It's crazy. Like busting. You know, it's like... Yeah. And I and I came up hot coral. I came up as a battle rapper. I don't even think I'm the same species as these people. I don't know, man. Not to like bone you right now, but you were fucking great. But these guys, this is crazy, man. Like this is, I, I'm. I look at it. It's like almost a different. Like I, I can't imagine how good these guys are. If you kept at it the yeah, way you were, sure. You if I was at my there, peak, yeah. it just kept going and yeah. then evolved like you'd this like, sport has. I get better. Same as that dude, but yeah. I'm saying these dudes are fucking insane. I listen to it and it's it's shocking how good it is. Now some of it is freestyle, some of it is not. Right. So he'll he works on his feet, but then the best guys have written ones for when they need it. And so um, basically, there's ones called like King of the Dot. There's another one called a uh, Fight Club. You know, there's all these different kinds of ones you can watch on YouTube. They all have like millions of views, and there's names that you should know out of them. And they're usually for money. Now, the one we're going to talk about has another layer on it, which is that recently these are getting more popular. YouTube is starting to garner revenue for people, mm-hmm. so these are starting to come up. These are starting to make some money. So what they're doing is they're taking some of the people outside of this small world and inviting them into the battle world. So like if you thought so-and-so was always a good rapper and they need a couple grand, let's offer them to come into our house and see if they can battle one of our best guys. So it's not a prize to the winner. It's just you get paid to show up. It's like a person In split. this case, I think it's a split because it's like a pay-per-view kind right. of thing. So this was a pay-per-view, match. right. But but 99% of them are for a purse right. or for like a, a five grand, three grand, 3,500. And they just split it or the winner no, takes No, no, winner. More. Well, I think winner you get appearance, all. but but yeah. you get the lion's share for winning. And who decides who wins? Crowd yelling kind of a thing? No, they usually get like three or four judges. Each of oh, those really? judges could be their own SNL character. Yeah. I'm they're sure. like all they amazing. Yeah, they're all like, they're all like, respect the MCs. Yo, yo, Bay Area, shout out to da da da, shout out to da da da, shout out to yeah. LRG, shout out to the dude who gave me a free shirt. Shout out. It's just like the wor- <laughs> they're the worst characters. Um, <laughs> But this one's called King of the Dot, and the most important part about this is that they paid Cannabis, the rapper... Give the 15 seconds who Cannabis is for idiots. Cannabis, <clears throat> excuse me, Cannabis was the first technical lyricist that blew people's minds. Early 90s. Early 90s. and his, Well, yeah, early yeah, 90s. Totally. His first song, his first single, was a thorough thrashing thrashing right. of LL Cool J. He was a battle rapper. Called Second Round Knockout. That you, w- that, but it's a good song. It's an amazing song. So that's the thing is he took battle rapping and made it into good songs. Then he signed to Wyclef and then his life went to Shitsville. Not because of Wyclef but because he was a destroyer. He personally destroyed his own sabotage, sabotage yeah. his career. That's all you need to know. But he has been a folklore. Now he's like 40 and like coming still back trying. to Still trying. No, rap. he still tries all the time. He still releases right. albums. No one cares. He's not as good as he used to be. Mm-hmm. Times have just he changed. like Tricky. Yeah, he he had his he looks like a snake. He he had his shot and it just he missed it. Wow. And and now because we all grew up with that song and he was sort of the he was the battle rapper who got famous. They put him on a throne. That right. throne is he was like plastic. he was it's like not the, made of anything. I mean, he, he was, was the god of backpackers. I would say god of battle rappers. The only reason he was a backpacker like, though is because he would be like technical science. He would talk about science a but lot. But even up to like. The late '90s, people were like, "Fuck Nas, it's all about cannabis." Sure, like, no, I mean, people. He was just a technical rapper. Yeah, he but he was like rapper. a New Yorker favorite rapper. Sure, yeah, he was every, but he was everyone's favorite. Yeah. He was just good. He tell just tell a, him how he showed up, though. Okay, so this battle has been hyped up for months, and it's on pay per view on the computer. You have to pay like twelve bucks to see it, That's crazy. and it was basically yeah. taking this guy Diz, a Diz, D I Z, taking one of their best guys, the King of the Dot, and saying, "Okay, well, let's go up against this legend." You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Although this legend has been beaten to a fucking pulp over the past five years. But 
Cannabis shows up after all this hype, and he 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 was really hyping it up like a boxing match, saying he's going to take him to Disneyland. I'm going to school that kid. <laughs> blah 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 blah. He shows up. Unfortunately, he goes up against Diz, who's amazing. Uh, Cannabis shows up with an his arm in a sling. Cannabis does. Yeah, yeah, his arm in a sling, and he has a cut on his head, like he was in an accident. So yeah. that comes up in this. What you are going to hear is the last minute. No, the last. I don't know. Probably it's in the last three quarters. Yeah. How long does the it's whole like 40 battle? Minutes. It's like a 40 minute thing. They each get what? like four rounds each. Okay. But it's really told by what the, how everything's moving. Right. You know what I mean? Like they let you finish and then the next guy comes. This is one of the worst. And are there like card fights and stuff? What is it? Like are there like. Yeah. 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 I don't watch those. Right. I watch the main events. This is one of the most thorough. Th- this is unbelievable. It's not about his rapping. Diz talks about his personal life. Like it's 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 so it digs so deep into him, and I have to play it. But the the thing we're gonna focus on as well, other than Diz being amazing, Cannabis has done two rounds that are both eh, they're okay, they're fours out of ten, but he held his own okay. He then has a breakdown. Oh God! Yeah, so we're gonna watch the breakdown where he uh, decides he's lost the battle and he wants to bring out his notepad. We're still gonna see a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna see Diz first. Here's where he gets demolished. Okay, you ready? So this is Diz. Are you getting any sound? Yeah, you're getting sound. Okay, here we go. You're not strong. You're not strong enough to top your peak. Just face it, you've aged and you've gotten weak. You could no longer keep up pace with today's top elites, not acapella or on the beat. To stop blogging, please, if not at least while you still got a spot to keep. Used to be a role model to all these geeks. Even gangsters looked up to you like when a respected father speaks. See, the problem is the hip-hop. You are unique. That's why it also bothers me, because I feel like I'm putting my own dog to sleep. Watch it. I literally, after this next one, I just, I would have just buckled my knees. Here it is. There's literally people yelling loud. Let's go. Hold it down. My favorite characters. I feel like I'm putting my own dog to sleep. Watching a, watching a karma seep. Watching him burn alive from the inside as the karma seeps from your eyes onto your rotten cheeks. Because the cannabis we used to know now is a shallow surface that's far from deep. And all that's left for you at the end is the nightmares that haunt your sleep along with the psychological scars you keep as a product of the karma you've gotten from fucking over all your peeps. Oh. So I don't give a fuck. Homie, I get my G on. I'm a real MC, motherfuckers. I get my free on. So it makes sense that this motherfucker here has this little stupid sling on because he's never been a good shoulder to lean on. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Number one, he didn't know he was coming with a sling. I mean, it's, it's so that's such a yeah. bonkers line. Um, so, so here's where cannabis has his breakdown, right? Well, yeah, I wouldn't say breakdown, but oh, he, he, he gives up. He throws him. Hey yo, this is him. Hey yo, he is the shittiest Mackay Pfeiffer, by the way. Hey yo. <laughs> hey yo! I love respect the MCs. MCs. I love that. Talking to everybody in here. Hey, listen to me. This is not rapping. The boy can spit, all right? I prepared for three weeks every day. Come here. You understand me? I wrote so many fucking rhymes. Can't memorize all that shit. I'm not not something. I'm not a good freestyler, all right? I'm technical. Always been that way. And I didn't come here to let y'all down. By the way, you're right? not supposed well, to do this. this. Just rap. Do. Yeah. I mean, just rap. This is what I'm going to do. This is what, I can't do no more than what I'm going to do. That's a good point. So work with me. <laughs> I mean, you a, win, bitch. All right? But I want to still spit my shit. You understand me? Go in. You understand me? I love that someone just yelled, do it. No, I said, go in. Oh, they said, do it. Hey, so hey, yo. One so, of his guys. Y'all came here to listen to rhymes, right? So one of his guys then handed him a notepad. A his giant notepad. notepad. A giant notepad. Like the kind that you do like full paintings on. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's so, like the kind your mom has when she takes to like Tuscany. It's the sketch pad from Titanic. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. I mean, there's, a, there's a picture of Kate Winslet on it. I could see it. Yeah. People in the comments say that it's edited to make him look better, if you could believe it. Yeah. Like they, see, that was an edit. The way that I was rehearsing it. Wait, you understand me? It's yeah, supposed, well, I mean, it? yeah, part of it. Yes, and no, yeah, I mean, part of it. They, you should yeah. be, yeah, you should be slightly pretending that it's a magic trip. Not, pre- yeah, you should at, magic trip. It's it, right. part of the, at yeah, least part the, of the flair. But yeah. everyone knows that seventy-five percent at least is right. Right, right, right. 
That's not what I would call Diz. See, Diz is something different. A faggot nigga trying to make a living off a of diss. He walk around he's literally reading from like his thing. Right now. Yeah, but, right. but by the way, by the way, this is but this is second round now. He's actually he's just changing lyrics to one of his old songs. I still spit that shit That's what that was. Yeah, he still is. Why does 99% of you resemble mad ills? It's like he's changing some of the words to an, a famous battle. Too late. Wipe that stupid look off your face. Straighten the height, looking like that Indian from office space. Just Real like, technical, by the way. Oh, yeah. And then listen to yeah, right? that. Stop that's a, it. That's a good point. You're trying to battle on some pop shit. It's not you're technical weak. at all. No. And you sound like Andy Villanock. I mean, he's just dropping, he's just twos and twos. Anyone can say Hey, this. yo, brother. I'm just here to tell you that. I can't wait. God loves all this. It's so bad. Wow. Um, it's no good. Wow. That's that's a shame. But I do. We we are going to put up the link for the entire battle. So entertaining. Is it just a me, or is that just insanely entertaining? But it's more entertaining because we just picked a little clip. You watched two min- four minutes of it earlier. Yeah, I wouldn't watch forty minutes. <laughs> but uh, that- no, there's but there's parts you. Can, I'm telling you, if you yeah. watch the whole thing, it's worth it. It tells a story because cannabis does. Not, he doesn't win at all, but. He holds his own, at least not so to be they, booed out of the So building. Cannabis had done a bunch of Three shit. Three whole rounds. And how were they? Four out of ten. Ooh. Five out of ten. Mm. There were lines where you're like, oh, that was really good. But is the audience like, uh. No, no, no. There's very little errs until that moment. There's just ones where you're like, that guy's People just are better. a little bit like, oh, shit, cannabis. Like, no, I mean, no? There, are, there, are, there are times when people are like, oh, like there are small yeah. moments in the first three rounds, right. but nothing tops. I mean, he dismantles him. After he has a breakdown, Diz goes again. Oh, oh yeah. God. And Matty, watch it. It's. Does he, t- yeah. does he use his break? Like, does yeah. he, like. He goes, we just yeah, watched yeah, a man. Yeah. We just watched a legend break. We just now, watched. what's the line that he says that was amazing, though? What is it? Uh, he goes, like. I don't care if I choke tonight. Oh, he goes. I just he, like he goes. He goes because yeah. it doesn't matter if I rapped and choked tonight because I'm battling a man who has choked his life. Oh, and I, Maddie and I looked at each other. We're just like, what? Yeah, no. Jensen described it perfectly. He goes like, this is where he Mortal Kombat fatalities. <laughs> yeah, <him." laughs> he literally just pulls out his spine. Fatality. Uh, yeah. and, and you can watch any of these battles. They're all good, by the way, on YouTube. You go to King of the Dot or Fight Club. A couple names you should look up. Uh, Iron Solomon is just insane. Yeah, he's he a friend of the insane. show. He's going to come by soon eventually. He's, I would, I would love he's to remarkable. Him. Diz uh, is great. Um, you know, there's, there's a, you know, old gin stuff is great. I know that's about eight years old, but there's guys that are good all over the place. Uh, there's there's like these weird names too. Oh, we got know. a guy who says that he was there. He, he said this was insane. I saw it live and thought this couldn't be really happening. Yeah, wow. Marcus Madera. It's one of those. It was in L.A., so there's a lot of people. But I I think. Well, maybe he just watched it online. Oh, maybe. But either way, it, it, a lot of people say it was edited to make cannabis even look better, if that's possible. Uh, but you should watch it, and it's great. And and the whole online battling stuff is great. Tune in.